Pamela got accepted to Harvard University. Her family and friends were excited for her. Harvard was known for being hard to get into. Even if you got straight A's in high school, you could get rejected. You have to also be very involved in school, do volunteer work, and write well. Pamela immediately knew that she wanted to go to Harvard, but she was worried about the money. Harvard was a private school, so it was expensive. Two weeks later, she got an email from Harvard telling her what she got for financial aid. Pamela did not get as much aid as she hoped for. There are two types of financial aid. Grants and loans. Grants are good because it is money given to you from the school that you do not have to pay back. For loans, you have to pay it back eventually. Harvard offered Pamela a lot of loans, but not much grants. Pamela told her parents that she would not go to Harvard. Her parents told her that she should still go. Harvard was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. After some thinking, Pamela agreed. She decided that she was going to apply for scholarships. She went to her school's college center and found several scholarships she was qualified for. She applied to a scholarship for history majors, one for violinists, one for Filipino Americans, and one for female students. In the end, she managed to get $3,000 from scholarships. This was a good start. She would get a job at Harvard while she took classes. Before a new year, people make resolutions. Resolutions are things you want to change about yourself or things you want to happen. Common New Year resolutions include losing weight, getting good grades, spending less, and traveling more. It is hard to achieve resolutions because we can fall back into our old habits easily and make excuses. In December, gyms are almost empty. People are sitting comfortably at home eating. Once it hits the new year, gyms are crowded with people hoping to lose weight. Sadly, people will start losing hope and get lazy. It is easy to eat unhealthy food and not exercise. Well, it takes a lot of willpower to stay healthy for a long period of time. Kathleen's resolution is to lose weight. She currently weighs 150 pounds at 5 foot 4. She wants to lose 30 pounds by the end of the year. Kathleen bought a year-long gym membership. She decided to buy it for the entire year instead of month by month as a way to stop herself from canceling. It costs $200 for a whole year. The gym has everything she needs. There is even a spa in the gym. Kathleen went to the gym every day for two weeks. After two weeks, however, Kathleen had to go back to school. She had less time to go to the gym. Even when she did have time, she did not go 
because she was tired from class. She still managed to go to the gym twice a week, though. Vanessa had been eyeing a dress online for a long time. It was a long, white crochet dress, which cost $100. She was hoping the price would go down. She checked the website every day for one month, but the price never went down. She wanted the dress in the medium size. The website said there were only five more left. She did not want it to sell out. She finally bought the dress. A week later, it came to her house. Vanessa excitedly opened the package and the dress was perfect. It looked exactly the way it did on the website. Her cousin was throwing a party on a yacht that night. Vanessa wanted to wear the dress for that party. When Vanessa arrived, Everyone complimented on how she looked. The dress was definitely worth it. Where did you get that dress? Her cousin asked. Tula.com, Vanessa said. Her cousin went on the website. There were only two more in the size medium and one more in the size small. The next day, Vanessa decided to wear the same dress at her friend's dinner party. Hey Vanessa, nice dress. I just bought the same one today. It was such a good price, Jan said. You mean you don't think $100 is a good price? Vanessa said, oh no, it was only $35, Jan said. Vanessa's jaw dropped. If only she waited one day. Harold and Darlene are getting a divorce. They have been married for 10 years. They both felt that they married each other too young. Harold felt like he had changed a lot since then. When he was 23, he was ambitious, competitive, and sometimes even harsh. He had plans to be a CEO. Now, he was more relaxed. He was okay with not having a high-paying job. Darlene wanted the 23-year-old version of Harold. She was ambitious, too, and wanted to be a power couple. A power couple is a couple where both partners are successful. Darlene was not okay with Harold only being an accountant. Harold and Darlene hate each other now. They can barely talk to each other. They have one daughter together. Her name is Christina. Christina is sad that her parents are splitting apart. She does not know who she will be living with. Usually the mother gets full custody of the child. If Christina stays with her dad, she will be living in a smaller house, but she does not mind. She is closer to her dad. They get along better. If Christina stays with her mom, she could spend more money because Darlene is rich. Christina is not that close to her mom, though. Her mom does not show love often.
Harold and Darlene decided that Christina should still see both of them. Harold asked Darlene if she was considering another husband. Darlene said she eventually wanted to get married again. Harold wished her good luck. 